Good evening. The Ohio River, it is at risk. In fact, a new report says it is the second most endangered river in the nation. Pollution and flooding brought on by climate change put clean water for millions at risk. Our Morella Porter is live on the riverbank tonight with more details on the report. And Morella, you're also going to have more on what's being done about the problems exposed in all of this. Yeah, exactly, Kyle and Paula. The group American Rivers publishes this list to try and help improve the waterways and get Congress to take action. It's beauty, easy to see. We're lucky to have it here in Cincinnati. But what lies beneath the murky water is hard to ignore. Yeah, I wouldn't dip my toe in the Ohio <laughs> River, um, but I would love to get to a point where we can actually do that. The Ohio River has come a long way since the Clean Water Act 50 years ago. Its ranking on the endangered list shows how much further it has to go, finding a legacy of fossil fuel pollution and other challenges, including toxic chemicals and sewage. This list isn't about being the worst, it's about vulnerability. These rivers are at a crossroads and the American Rivers Organization believes key decisions in the coming months will determine their fate. This is a water body that's worth saving. Not only has it largely built our region because it's, you know, it's a transportation channel for so many of our goods, but there's a real opportunity because it's the drinking water for 5 million people. For the first time, a large group of stakeholders are creating a plan to try and get Congress to place federal protections on the Ohio and the River Basin to commit to sustained funding. It's not designated as a geographic initiative and receives no federal funding to restore the water quality in the river. So that's gen very basically what we're advocating for. Orsenko is the monitoring entity for the Ohio River Basin. Richard Harrison says the $1.4 million they receive every year is no longer cutting it. And we cannot meet these challenges on resources at 2010 levels, let, let alone not having those types of resources that can number into tens to hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Taylor Measley says even in places like Cincinnati, where there's been a revitalization of the river, Every part of the Ohio will depend on a restoration plan to continue improving its water quality. Because they'll all be impacted by mismanagement or no management at all. Now, for perspective, the Great Lakes are protected and get about $400 million every year. So you can see the difference that that makes. Now, the experts tell me one of the reasons why the Ohio may not be protected is because of how complex it is and how many other waterways it touches. Live along the river, Morella Porter, Local 12 News. Yeah, good perspective, good information there, Morella, as well. American Rivers and other groups will be on Capitol Hill in June lobbying for a restoration plan that they are currently currently drafting.